Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Viathon here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm for high functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did for his. Just so you know, earlier today I had a haircut. And I just hope that I look presentable for these videos and such. And I've been spending like two or three minutes angling the camera so that way it works at the right angles and I apologize if it needs better improvement in terms of anything for the video, you know. For this particular video, I'm going to introduce four characters to you guys. All of which have some potential at all and I hope you guys could bear with me as I introduce them to you. Just bear with me as much as I can. I um, I swear I want to make things better quality than whether or not the last video was any good quality, you know. I apologize in advance, you know. Here's the first character. McKenna. Real name? Goes by Kendra. Height? 6 feet 1.5 inches to 375 feet. Weight? 183 pounds to 32,000 tons. Status, hero, and new station employee. Base, New York City, mobile. Intelligence, four brains. Behavior, intellectual and willful. She always enjoys both of her jobs. Lethality, only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses, underestimation and being dwarfed. Powers, she has mass alteration, great strength, martial arts, a high intellect, and can duplicate herself into a total of 50 clouds. Eyes, blank white, normally deep brown. Hair, brownish black, and luscious. Origin. One time, Goddess chose to create a meteorite that crash-landed in the central park of the New York City of the default Earth. Soon, the meteorite hatched like an egg, and creating a bunch of fluids that formed into a humanoid woman that emerged from the wreckage, giving herself the names McKenna and simply Kendra. She decided to get two reliable jobs, one as a grand hero and the other as an employee of the local news station. One time, the villainous crime lord known as Breakout attempted to single-handedly destroy the city, but luckily... McKenna was able to defeat the mighty crime lord in a showdown. And recently, Kendra would spend some of her free time with both the luck-infused luck and the news reporter Bethany Shepard, alongside other heroes. Costume? She wears a white fabric leotard that changes with her. But in terms of her, like her, uh, New station occupation, she dresses in formal wear, like a suit and such. Teams, solitary, or with other heroes. Order of inspiration, space girls. I hope I did things right for that introductory. You know? Here's the next character. Tall Terror. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 155 feet. Weight, 6,000 tons. Status, villain, and enemy of McKenna. Base, the altered dimension, mobile. Intelligence, two and a half brains. Behavior, savage, craving, and relentless. She has no moral compass. Lethality, unbearably deadly to others. Weaknesses, her stomach. She also has bad anger issues. Powers, she has a huge size. Sharp teeth, high ferocity, can emit fear gas from her lungs. Yeah. She also possesses utter willpower on her decimation, on the decimation of life. Eyes, deep red. Hair, deep black, scruffy and wavy. Origin. In the altered dimension, the native McKenna is rather a chaotic version of her known only as the Tall Terror. One day... 
She was transported by the villainous Vortex to the default dimension, where she went into a fight against her default self. After infecting McKenna with her fear gas, Tall Terror just about killed her if it wasn't for Quantum to arrive and give her an uppercut that rocketed her to space, and was able to heal McKenna from her infection. Since then, Tall Terra would always try to get her payback on all heroes in her vicinity. Costume She wears the same clothes as McKenna. Teams Solitary or with other villains. Original inspiration, McKenna. Well, halfway there, and I hope you guys are hanging along. I'm just, I swear, I am doing all that I can to make the quality decent for you guys, because what matters for all of this is whether or not you guys would have any consideration to it, you know? Next character. Ultra Girl. Real name, Selena Crystals. Height, 204 stories. Weight, unrevealed. To put that in context, 102 stories is the height of the Empire State Building, so 204 stories is double that height. Status, hero, and giant villain fighter. Base, New York City, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, protective and cautious. She doesn't mind her new potential. Lethality, highly deadly but usually by accident. Weaknesses. She's always barefoot, which, ser which serves as her weak points. Sorry about that, I was just trying to make myself look more. Sorry. I'll continue. Sorry. Powers. She has great size and strength, uncanny reasoning skills, and possesses an innocent soul. She later gained a bottomless satchel, which is a large satchel that never empties or fills, serving as a useful container. Eyes, silverish blue, hair, grayish black, and a ponytail. Origin. Selena Crystals was an everyday teen who wanted to be known to the public eye. One day, she was transported by the evil cosmic to her lair, where she attempted to eat her. However, Selena was rescued by the arriving portal, who sent the raging Muskra to battle Cosmic. During the struggle, Cosmic inadvertently shot an energy blast that struck Selena as she was getting transported back to New York, knocking her shoes and socks off in the process. Back in the Big Apple, Selena found that she became 204 stories tall, and was told by the iconic Lady Liberty that it's permanent. Soon, a vengeful cosmic transported the evil android Elibot to destroy her, but Selena was able to stop her attempt. Being nicknamed Ultra Girl, she nowadays would do anything to be a hero for the innocents, and later gained access to her bottomless satchel as a reward from Pym. Costume. She wears casual clothes, excluding shoes and socks. Teams, solitary or with other heroes. Orgel inspiration, adolescence. Here's the last character I'm going to introduce, and I hope you guys are bearing with me, because I just hope that this is worth it for you. You know? Here's the last character. Bam. Real name, Countess Vanessa Barons. Height, 5 feet 10 inches. Weight, 148.5 pounds. Status, anti-hero, and the head of Baron's Castle. Base, Baron's Castle, Alpha Earth, Mobile. Intelligence, four brains. Behavior, witty and sneaky. She always try to cure her thirst. Lethality, extremely deadly to most opponents. Weaknesses, silver and garlic. Powers. She could turn her drained victims into vampiric servants. She has some martial arts, a hypnotic stare, can command bats and rats, and can disappear into the shadows. She also has uncanny persuasion skills, and recently received her own ring of nourishment. Eyes, blood red, 
formerly green. Hair, blonde and flowy. Origin. In the Victorian era of the Alpha Earth, Vanessa Behrens was once the most beautiful princess of the native Romania. One day she was forced to get married to a germaphobe. However, the vampiric bloodlust soon arrived and killed all the people present. When Vanessa tried to escape, bloodlust chomped on her neck, forever turning her into a vampire. Since then, whenever a vamp wants to go outside, step outside, she needs to bring an umbrella to avoid getting sunburns. And eventually, Vamp had developed a romance with the wolf girl Lycanthropy. Costume. She wears a silver-colored, sparkly dress. Teams, solitary, with lycanthropy, and others. Ordal inspiration, vampires. Well, guys, I hope that's a, a decent one for you guys in terms of quality. And I apologize if not. I hope you guys are having a fine time because tomorrow I'm going to try out a sensory deprivation chamber to help benefit my creations here. And I just hope I don't go catatonic or anything. I hope you guys have a decent time and such. If you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. You don't have to. And so far, last I checked, I have 2.9k views and still 41 subscribers. I love how I have so many views, but I feel I need at least a bit more subscribers. So, no hard feelings. It's a personal wish, and it doesn't have to be, like, I don't want to prompt you guys or anything, because then you would decide to shut yourselves out of this, and that would just ruin my future. And the future of an entire multiverse, if you think about it. So, I hope you guys have a fine rest of the January, and all of that stuff, and until next time, in transmission.